teaching assistantships. So how do you get those when you apply to grad school? Well, basically how it works is you, you just apply to the grad school and you're automatically considered for it. Uh, the most important thing though uh, when you're applying to grad schools and you're considering a teaching assistantship is that if you're coming from a different country, it's really important to take uh, the English test. I don't know how to say it, I think it's TOEFL, it's T-O-E-F-L. It's a test and most graduate schools recommend that you take it. Um, you should buy a book on Amazon, study for it and take it. So if you're coming from somewhere else where English is not your first language, definitely take that test. It will help you uh, secure a teaching assistantship. I cannot emphasize how important this is. Even if it says on the website it's not required, you should do it. It will help you tremendously, right? Math graduate programs are judged by uh, the quality of the teaching. And I'm not saying like the quality is worse if someone has a strong accent, but some people do believe that. I don't, you know, I, I think it's fine. I love people with really cool accents, but it's important to take the test and it will dramatically improve your chances of, of getting a te teaching assistantship. But other than that, when, when you apply to any grad school, you are pretty much guaranteed an assistantship. If you get into the grad school and they don't give you an assistantship, don't go. Just, just don't go. It's, it's just unheard of. It does happen. It's pretty rare. I had it happen to one of my friends. He had to pay for his first year out of pocket. And after that, after the second year, they, they covered his expenses, but it's pretty rare. I also had a friend who, who was a prince uh, from Saudi Arabia, and his government was paying for it. But most of the time, um, it's a free ride, and they pay you a salary, and they pay you health insurance. So again, when you just apply, you're, you're automatically considered. One thing um, you should consider, though, is, you know, is it enough money to live in the area? So consider whether or not you know, you actually want roommates or whether or not, you know, you want to live on your own. So, you know, do some research on all of that stuff. So, yeah, I hope this video has been helpful.